Hello, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage. Today what we're going to go over is our new inspection robot. The new inspection robot, uh, it's a vehicle designed to go under the house. Uh, it has a camera that will tilt up, down, left and right. Uh, it also includes a screen with a DVR so you can record everything you see under the house. Uh, this tool is excellent for um, plumbers, for home inspectors, for anybody need to go under the house. In certain area you can actually use it on acoustic ceiling if you need to crawl over it, it's pretty lightweight. Um, but you have to check so you're not going to fall through how good they did the ceiling. Uh, what you're going to get, let's go over what you get with the vehicle and then go from there to how everything works. So to start with, you're going to get this suitcase and inside of the suitcase you're going to have the controller, you're going to get uh, a computerized uh, remote that we already setting up everything for you. There is what called dual rate. Dual rate will set up that if when you go forward or backward, left or right, and you're going to go in a higher speed, you can actually flip the switch and go in a lower speed. And actually, even if you're the most unexperienced person, will set it up to the low. And if you put a shit all the way forward, it will just going to go super slow speed, uh, literally less than half a mile an hour. And you're not going to be able to damage it or cause any kind of a problem. Uh, also, we have the pan and tilt for the camera over here. I'm going to show you in a second how it's work. Uh, you can hook up your screen on any kind of a tripod. Uh, it's not a problem at all. And the vehicle itself is right here. When you get the vehicle, you will get with it uh, two different charger. One charger will, draw, will work for the drive battery. There is uh, three batteries on this vehicle, two lithium batteries and one uh, nickel metal hydride. Uh, the nickel metal hydride will drive your vehicle. This vehicle run on two motors front and back and two steering servo front and back. You can steer front and rear so you can make uh, a circle in, in literally a matter of like two feet or so. So if you need to make a U-turn it's not a problem. The other charger you're going to get going to be a lithium charger that will charge the light battery and the transmitter battery. Uh, those are running on two uh, different setup, two different channels, so you're not going to have any kind of problem or sure if you run out of one battery, the system will not stop working. Uh, let's start by turning on the screen real quick. And as soon as you start the screen, it's going to scan for... And now it's looking for what the camera broadcast. Um, I'm going to hook it up real quick. Okay, as soon as you start it, you're going to have a reception already going on for you and you can see exactly where you need to go. Now, after you hook up the batteries on the vehicle, there is three connectors that you're going to go to hook up. Let's hook up the last one on the back. You're going to first turn on the vehicle and then you're going to turn on your remote. Now the remote working and you can actually shift the camera up and down left and right let's set it up from a different angle so it's going to be easier to see okay so right now you, your camera can go up and down if you need to look at the ceiling the ceiling that you're looking at actually going to be the floor of the house and then you can point back down all the way to the ground and see if there is any sinkhole open or any foundation moved and you can shift it all around. It's kind of gonna be able to do a nice circle. And you can go in any speed you want. You can go very slow, up and down if you need, and you can actually leave the stick and the camera I'm gonna set up and stay there. I'm gonna do this while you can actually watch on the camera at the same time. This is the up. Up is backward, like you're leaning your head backwards to look up, and then down, We'll be looking forward like a regular person will do. Then left will be left and right will be right. Uh, it's a very simple uh, thing to do. Now, when you look up and down, if you leave the stick, it will just stay in the position and then you can just tilt it to the left or to the right. 
but it's always going to go back to the center. So you have to position the vehicle to where you want it. Let's trade it back down. And then this is your drive uh, stick. Now what I want to concentrate real quick is the camera. So you can set the camera up and go with it and then you can still see where you're going. Now if you ever lose it, what you're going to do, you're going to point it down and you point it to one of your wheels. And then you can see one of the wheel and then you know that you're going forward and you can point the camera straight. There is here uh, some small knobs and you're going to set it up to straight, zero, straight and level. And then all you need to do is go straight and find the exit. Now, for um, using it at night or actually under the house, uh, it's pretty dark. We set up a special LED light that will lead the entire area for you. Uh, this is high intensity light. I'm going to point it real quick to the camera. You can see it's very, very strong. Um, to the area that you're going, it's literally going to make a like if it's a daylight over there, but it's not going to show any halo. So when you take your video, everything will look very, very clear. So it's an excellent, uh, excellent platform to work with. Um, now, those vehicles are uh, customized to order. They can come with different light, a different screen, different remotes. It all depends how much money you would like to invest in your uh, work robot. Uh, I highly recommend um, to contact us at RC Monster Garage Motor Style Shop so we can actually consult to you what will work the best for you. Um, those vehicle running on 2.4, the remote is 2.4 gigahertz and the camera is 5.8 gigahertz so they're not interfering or causing any problem. It's a very quiet right now. Uh, the only noise that is making is a little bit noise from a, a fan, a cooling fan. Let's shut off the light real quick. Uh, the vehicle running excellent. Will go on any terrain, and it's literally designed to be able to absorb some abuse. So if you're going to go and let's assume there is a very bad position that you have to crawl into, this vehicle able to do that and stay straight. It's not going to flip on you easily, even if you need to climb on anything, it will be able to do that uh, very simply. Part of what you're paying for is actually uh, our training. When you get the vehicle, we will actually show you uh, how to run it. Uh, it's very simple and any question that you're going to have for it, we can answer. We can actually even modify some parts for your need. If you would like to have a different cameras on it, I can set it up with a GoPro. Now, when you set it up with a GoPro, you will have a, a, man, a second or two delay. Uh, there is a delay because GoPro is a very high resolution file. So the other option is to use the cameras that we're using. And what we do, we set up another GoPro mount that will go here so you can record uh, with both cameras but see it real time on the drive camera but record higher quality on your GoPro um, any question any information needed just contact us at MotorStyle shop it's actually uh, www.motorstyles.com RC Monster Garage YouTube channel and we can help you with it thank you and goodbye